in the fifth part we are going to have discussion on differentiation in time and differentiation in z domain properties of z transform and we will begin our discussion with differentiation in time property in case of discrete time signals differentiation is nothing but successive difference it is successive difference and therefore we call this property successive difference property as well and there is one more name for this property we call it first difference property we call it first difference property and now i will first explain you what is successive difference and then we will move on to the property successive difference is the differentiation of discrete time signals that is dxn over dn and it is equal to signal xn minus signal xn minus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator we have n minus n minus 1 so in denominator we are going to get 1 therefore finally we have xn minus xn minus 1 and in this property we will find out the z transform of xn minus xn minus 1 and for this we will first assume that the z transform of signal xn is equal to xz and the region of convergence is equal to r now xn minus xn minus 1 will have the z transform equal to 1 minus z power minus 1 multiplied to xz and we can write this as z minus 1 divided by z multiplied to xz now the region of convergence will remain same except the possible addition and or deletions due to the pole z equal to 0 and the 0 z equal to 1 which is added because of z minus 1 over z we will have discussion on this in the coming lectures but for now just remember this statement so this property we call as differentiation in time property and now we will prove this property the proof of this property is very simple we are simply required to calculate the z transform of xn minus xn minus 1 so the discrete time signal we are having is xn minus xn minus 1 and we know its z transform will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity signal xn minus xn minus 1 z power minus n i will write down the result after opening this bracket we will have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xn multiplied to z power minus n then we have minus summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity xn minus 1 multiplied to z power minus n and it is clear that we are having the standard form of z transform and the signal we are having is xn this is the discrete time signal and here in this case the discrete time signal is xn minus 1 and we know the z transform of signal xn is equal to xz therefore we can write xz in place of this and this signal will have the z transform equal to z power minus 1 multiplied to xz 
and I'm writing this using the time shifting property which we have already discussed. So you can see that once you take x z common you will have 1 minus z power minus 1 x z the same result therefore we have proved the differentiation in time property of z transform now we will move on to the 11th property that is difference in z domain property and i will first give you the property and then we will prove it let's say there is a signal xn having the z transform equal to x z with region of convergence equal to r and if you multiply n the variable we are having here to signal xn you will have the corresponding z transform equal to minus z d x z divided by d z so here you can see that we are having the differentiation of z transform and then we are multiplying it by minus z and the region of convergence will remain same so this property we call as differentiation in z domain because we are having the differentiation of z transform now we will move on to the proof of this property the proof is very simple we simply need to first write down the z transform of signal x n it is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity signal x n multiplied to z power minus n and now we will differentiate left hand side and the right hand side with respect to z so we have d x z over d z on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x n d z power minus n over d z x n is not the function of z therefore it is constant and hence we are only required to differentiate z power minus n and we know the differentiation of z power minus n will be equal to minus n z power minus n minus 1 so we will have we will have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity i will write down n along with xn so we have n xn then we will have z power minus n minus 1 and we can write z power minus n minus 1 as z power minus n over z and i will also put this negative sign along with z so we have z power minus n over minus z and on the left hand side we have d x z over dz now we will multiply both the sides by minus z so we are going to get we are going to get minus z multiplied to d x z over d z and here in this side we will have summation n x n multiplied to z power minus n so this time again we are having the standard formula of z transform and here this is the discrete time signal so this discrete time signal nxn is having the z transform equal to minus z dx z over dz the same thing i have written here so in this way we have proved the differentiation in z domain property of z transform